Hi, welcome to the EEV blog, an electronics engineering video blog of interest to anyone involved in electronics design. I'm your host, Dave Jones. And I'm here with Bart from Cleverscope. He's the designer of that. Yeah, I, I make Cleverscopes and I love your blog, Dave. Thank it's a beautiful you very much. blog. Thank it's you uh, very much. tells me a hell of a lot of good stuff. Well, All we right. make Cleverscopes. Tell, tell us about the Cleverscope. Well, I can take one here and pull it out. Yep. And uh, it's a little toy. It's it's yep. a PC scope, so it's it's going against oh, Pico scope and it's, all those other little yep. scopes. Um, this is what it looks like. Yep. Uh, it's a pretty. Uh, you know, average sort of plastic case, but yep. hell, it works. Yep. Uh, if you open it, oh, you can see inside it. <laughs> we have hardware. We have a tear down. Here we go. Here's inside. Tear down at Dave's blog live at Electronics. You betcha. And that's inside the Cleverscope. Is this the? Uh, I assume there would have been several generations. There have been a few generations. And uh, Yep, there have been, and this is the current one. Yep. Except that one's probably a bit bodgy because it's got development stuff inside it. I suspect. Right. Okay. Uh, and, uh, no, it's not too bad. No, okay. it's not too bad. This is the Ethernet version. Yep. So you can see there's the Ethernet board. Yep. Hang on. Let's uh, put it down on the uh, All right. table. We'll put that Over on here. the table. Oh, here we go. And. Uh, Tell us about the uh, hardware. I'll zoom in right, on that. We can do that. Yeah. So this is the digitizer. Yep. And uh, we we do them in 10, 12, and 14 bit. So this is a 14 bit digitizer. Yep. Uh, this is all the analog stuff. And over here we have DC offset, which is so that we can look at just a small chunk of range, like 2.1 to 2.2 volts. Yep. And digitize across just that chunk. Right. Over here we have our mixed signal input, the eight digital ins. Yep. Not too many PC stops do that. Yep. And uh, over here is an Altera Cyclone, magnificent device. That's where all the magic's running? That's all the magic, and we can change it. Yep. And people can go and upgrade their hardware in the field later on. Fantastic. Memory, you yep. know, it's SDRAM. Yes, so it's got a couple of, what is it, eight, it's got eight, eight, meg. eight meg of, eight meg eight of meg samples. sample memory, but it's not high sample rate. Okay. This one, it's only no. 100 meg samples. 100 meg samples. So it's pretty slow, samples. but... But sure. when you've got a 14-bit converter, exactly. that's that's the magic. Plus, you got, you got a trigger that can capture almost anything. Excellent. I reckon, anyway. Well, yes, uh, <laughs> not, not that you're biased or anything. No, no, that's All right. right. But you've got to talk up Ethernet your interface, product. magnificent device list, the WizNet chip, I don't know yep. if you come across those. I have heard of it. Hardware, hardware. Hardware Ethernet, yep. and then here's a SIGGEN, which is a little using a little um, L, uh, little analog devices DDS chip. Right, just suits us down to the ground. As you can see, there's a bit of power supply. Yep. that's Bob's Yonko aluminium case to stop yep. the stuff, bad stuff getting in. And Shielded. We have and it. Excellent. Thank you for the teardown. The interface is uh, LabVIEW. It's LabVIEW. Yeah, it's, yep. it's all built in LabVIEW. You can see the LabVIEW sort of controls. Yep. Uh, but you know. We, we, we have lots of windows here. One of these, this one over here, is actually not one of ours. It belongs to MATLAB. Right. That's because we were piping through stuff to MATLAB until I pulled the telescope off the rack and stopped from working. Uh, we had mixed signal, as I yes. say, and uh, we, we can decode protocols. Well, we can. Yep. Not today, we can't. It's waiting for something. Right. Yeah, um, <laughs> that's all right. I'm sure it does. Hang it. Why does it happen? Anyway, I, I buggered it up. Yep. So uh, yeah, we've we've got this graph here, is this this waveform display, which is mixed signal and it can decode protocols in real time, usually. Yep. And we have a, a maths graph, which you can send mm -hmm. maths equation to. Yep. It's very complicated. But does that do serial decoding in the hardware? Yes, or it does. It does. It does. Right in yes. the FPGA. In the FPGA. Excellent. And so that means you can do triggering and stuff like that, which Excellent. is what you want. Okay. Yep. You have some signal information. Uh, we can do spectra. Yep. Uh, and uh, ooh, lots of other things. Lots of other stuff. So the Cleverscope is pretty clever. Moderately. Well, All right. love this stuff. Well, Tell us about the history. Okay, the history. Yeah, well, you know, history I'm an engineer. Scope. Engineers yeah. love scopes. Uh -huh. Crows. Yeah. I think you call them crows, Crow, don't they? Cathode ray yeah, 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 scopes. Yeah, that, that's right. That. Well, you see, the, the problem is that I, I wanted to make a crow like almost anyone else yeah. out there who wants to make a crow. And I noticed that, that uh, the cell phone business had generated all these really fast analog to digital converters yep. and FPGAs. Mm -hmm. you those two together, magic, you got a scope. Yep. That's what you have to do, don't you? 
well, what else was I going to do? I made a scope. <laughs> But just like I, I designed my own scope back in 93, got it published in Electronics Australia. It was a, a extremely popular Pretty digital good. storage scope, you know, because back then you could design your own you, scope. You, it was worthwhile. You, you know, could, yeah, you could. The market was flooded with all the Chinese. Yeah, well, they've scopes. come along. That's yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> So, so you started the business? It yeah. It was just from home? Was it a side business at the time? Yeah, it was a side business. Side yeah, business. Yeah, you had yeah. a real day job? I had a real day job, which was yep. quite tough. And after a yep. while, I decided I've done enough in that now, you know, yeah. 10 years, whatever it was. I'm going to do a new thing. So right. this came along on the side. And so how, how long did it take from when you started it to uh, doing uh, a side business? How long did it start? About a year. Business? About, about a year. And then you went full-time? Then we went full-time and, yeah. and got a few other guys. And, yep. and now we're selling scopes all over the world. How many... How many scopes have you sold? Do you know? Ah, about 8,000. About 8,000? Yeah, something yeah, like that. Nice. Yes. Out of New Zealand. Out of New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. New Zealand. Can you say six? Six. <laughs> six. <laughs> six. <laughs> and it's still. Uh, so this is. Uh, there's been several. several there's been several generations. Several That's generations right. We scopes. we we had an earlier one which was USB one based and had an older older FPGA. It was a bit slow and we couldn't fit enough stuff into it. So of course we had to make a new one. Right. And uh, yeah, so this is we've got a new one coming after this, but yep. it's not released yet. But right. might get there eventually. Okay. So you've yeah. still only got the one model. Have you got one model or have you got several models? We really only have one model. Only got you one know, model. we make variations on it, but there's one Choice model. Choice is too hard. It is. It's it much is. too hard. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. just one. That's yeah. But the next one, that will have lots of variation. Okay. Oh, yeah. Detail. Yeah, well, digitally, it's isolated channels. Isolated. I don't know if that interests okay. you at all. Yes, isolation is, is big between individual channels. Between individual channels. channels as well as the PC. Absolutely. Well, yep. Once you've got the individual channels, you don't need the... Or is the USB isolated as well? On here, the USB is not isolated. It's not isolated. And on the next one, the USB is also not isolated because it's USB 3. Right. And oh, USB 3 okay. is even harder to isolate than right. USB 2. Are you running that at the full USB 3? Yes. Yes. Throughput. What's yes. The speed of it? 5 gigabits per second. 5 gigabits per second. It's going pretty fast. Nice. Yeah, so you've got yeah. that prototype? Yeah, yeah it's we're, we're getting, we're coming along. Right. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. That's, yes. That's awesome. So, so, but the, the isolation is, is, uh, aimed at uh, people who want to make motor control drives yeah, and UPSs yeah. and power supplies and yep. all that sort of stuff. How many channels is that going to be? Four. Four, yes. I was yeah, going to say, yeah. when you go isolated, yeah, four you need four. Handy. That's four right. Yeah. People typically want to monitor yeah. quite, a few, quite a few items. So that's awesome. Yeah. Is, that, uh, is that going to be uh, reasonably... Price? Does it, does it up the price? It does include? up the price a lot because yep. because you, you you then got to somehow isolate all that data yep. and have a have a clock that that gets its way around the place. And yeah, it ups the price. What, what's the sample? Um, rate of that? that will be the we're doing it in two versions. Yep. The the lower version was 250 mega samples, still pretty slow. Yep. 16 bits though. 16 bit converter. 16 bits. Fantastic. And and uh, 25 kV per microsecond uh, comma mode noise. Yep. You know. Which yep. is, Want. And the other one is 5 gigabits per second based on that, that right. uh, E2V converter. Right. Yeah. Five. Excellent. Yeah. But you've got the high, but you're using the USB 3, three. to get the data throughput yes. you need. So yes. even though it's only a couple of meg samples, by a couple of hundred. It's only in the order of hundreds of meg samples. Yeah, we want USB 3 because we want to increase. Uh, we can currently stream at one and a half mega samples or three mega samples yep. per second, and we'd like to stream faster than that to hard disk. How, so how fast can you possibly, how fast will you be able to stream, you think, over? I have no idea. Until That's an experimental sort of thing, you know. Because hard drives themselves have, a, have speed limits. Yeah, well, because, and it won't be a consistent, consistent latency either, will it, with USB? Three. No, that, no. Can, like Firewire gives you a consistent. Uh, you basically, it's packetized, and, right, yeah, and so as long as the, your average packet rate is right, you suitable, you're keep okay. Up. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. I mean, would the limitation be storing to hard drive these days? Would you need a solid state? You would need drive? a if you want to go really fast, fast. You will need one of them. You right. will. That's right. right. Yes. Okay. I mean, the one in my little laptop here. Yep. I think it can only handle about 40 megabytes per second. 40 megabytes per second. Yep. It's, it's not that much, really. Exactly. No. no.
Right, excellent. So we've right. got some interesting... We have got lots of interesting coming. stuff coming. And yeah. how many people do you employ now? Um, it's not large. And right, no, it's yeah, a, yeah, I yeah, can yeah, imagine. It's a sort of a six-man company. Oh, that's, yeah. that's it's pretty tiny, size. really. That's, yeah. It's pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Doing well. And where's it made? Oh, it's made in Auckland. It's made of in course. Auckland. Of course. New Zealand. New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll claim it to be Australian because that's what we do. That's what you do. <laughs> Russell Crowe. <laughs> Everything good that comes out of New Zealand we claim is Australian. So the Clever Stroke is from <laughs> Australia. Brilliant. <laughs>